Good morning on Friday. It's nine o'clock. I'm having breakfast in bed because I've woken up with a headache this morning. So I've made my breakfast and brought it back to bed. I've got a Warburton's Thin Bagel and one scrambled egg. I will put the calories on the screen. I was in the pack lighter. Our bikes are now accessible for the first time in a while. We've not been able to get at them for a while. And now they're accessible and we need to pop to Lidl. So we're going to go to Lidl on our bikes and get cheese, milk, then come back and have lunch. Survived, just about. I got, oh, hang on, some of it's missing, I'll be back. Back. Milk. Cucumber. Iceberg lettuce. Light vanilla yogurt. This is to make um, overnight oats with because we made them with thick Greek yogurt in the week and it wasn't brilliant. It, it didn't have enough moisture to absorb into the oats well enough. I got little sticks of cheddar. These are 80 something calories per stick. Get down, dog. 81 calories per stick. And I thought they'd be ideal for either picking a snack in or having with a salad. I got two on the vine tomatoes. I got 30% less fat mature cheese. They do a 50% less fat one as well. There's only 10 calories difference in the serving size. So 30 grams of this one is 96 calories. 30 grams of the 50% fat one is only, is only 10 calories, that's 86 calories. I'd rather spend the extra 10 calories and have a little bit more flavour in the cheese. I got these, they are the Reese's mini eggs. 100 grams is 522, the bag is 70, I think they've worked out about 400 and something for the bag. I got one of the little tomato and mozzarella this time. I had maple bacon the other day or something, this one's fine. 264 calories. I've got a pack of barbecue chicken breast slices this is to have with my lunch and I think the rest might be Natalie's shopping yeah the rest is Natalie's the rest is of no consequence to you guys my shopping is probably of no consequence to you guys let's face it right I'm gonna put this away and make lunch oh quite pleased that I survived riding to Lille's the first time I've ridden my bike in probably six months um, I buggered up my knee in January so I wasn't able to ride my bike at all. I wasn't. Even, I've not been able to do the exercise bike at the gym or anything. It's been a bit. It's been a bit difficult because I really did mess up my knee doing all the walking in January. Funny enough, and then when I was ready to ride it, they were locked in the alleyway. The key there was nowhere to be found. But we have today located the key, and I've been able to go on my bike. So it's a sore point. We won't talk about it. Right, lunch. I am eating my lardon just because I can. Um, the sun's actually gone over a bit now, but still, it's a nice day. I've got um, a large salad. Um, don't know what that is. We'll wipe it off, whatever it is. Um, <laughs> grated carrot, cucumber, barbecue chicken, tomatoes, lettuce, beetroot, one of those cheeses, mayonnaise, diced spring onion, and then I've got an orange to follow, and the whole lot comes to 420 calories. This is 85 grams of Victoria sponge cake. Well, it's just changed to 86. No, there you go, 85 grams of Victoria sponge cake. It's this one, Fatherson's Delicious Victoria Sponge. That little piece there is 370 calories. <sighs> Evening meal is sticky chicken with rice and broccoli as cooked by Nat. I'll put the calories on the screen. For my dessert, I'm going to have half a tub of the Oppo double salt caramel squirrel, and it is 178 calories for half the tub. Just sat up in bed and thought, oh, I'll edit yesterday's vlog and realised I didn't finish it. So um, this is me finishing yesterday's vlog. I didn't eat anything after the oppo ice cream and I finished the day with 105 calories left over. See you tomorrow, bye.